Here at Hammerson, we've been working very hard over the last 10 years to reduce our environmental impacts. We've reduced the carbon emissions across our managed portfolio by around 50%. This is great progress and has taken a huge amount of work from everybody across the business. But fundamentally, this isn't really enough. As a business, we still emit something like 30,000 tonnes of carbon every year. And this is just across the bits of the business and the bits of the portfolio that we actively manage. If we include the other parts of the portfolio, the areas which the tenants occupy, then those emissions get much bigger. And this is true of any commercial property company with managed assets, even the ones like us who have been working really hard to reduce our impacts. The short answer is, we all need to do more. What we really need to do is reduce our negative impacts to zero and then beyond zero to make sure that we make a net positive contribution to the environment and to society too. Understanding this has encouraged us to make a bold net positive commitment for the business. Hamilton is committing to becoming net positive in the four areas where we have the greatest impacts and can bring about the most significant change. Carbon, resource use, water and socio-economic impacts. And we're aiming to achieve this by 2030. Our net positive commitment is ambitious and will be challenging for the business. However, we are convinced that this is the level of action needed if we are going to generate the change that we require. When you bring a development together, uh, you only get there by bringing many different uh, parties, operators, contractors, suppliers together. Uh, and that ultimately is something I think that we are very good at doing. We've been doing it for many years, but ultimately net positive means that we're going to have to work those relationships even harder. Um, and not just harder, but also form new relationships. So we have in the, in the construction world, for instance, we have very strong relationships with our contractors and our subcontractors. But ultimately, we need to go one or two steps below that to our suppliers and the suppliers that supply the subcontractors to get those relationships right to make this a success. The ratification of the Paris Agreement on Climate Change underlined the seriousness of our predicament. Energy cost and supply, carbon pricing, air quality, extreme weather events, all these issues are key business risks in the short, medium and long term. The acceptance that we need to achieve less than two degrees of climate change this century is a warning to us all that we really need to do more and we need to do it sooner rather than later. I think what you're seeing today is the start of something really transformational. This is um, a one-way direction of travel for all of us and it takes big business with its ability to combine attitudes and people and behaviours all together to start to deliver small steps on the road to long-term permanent change and that's what this is about. I think taking a leadership role in Net Positive is extremely exciting, um, not just because of the significant positive impacts this will have, from an environmental and socio-economic point of view, but most importantly um, because it will be able to transform really the, the sector as a whole by leading the way, showing others who will hopefully follow suit. You need to have those flag bearers, you know, you need to have those companies who are committed to make a stance and, you know, Hammerson should be applauded for doing that. The wider benefits to society and the economy of Hammerson and other companies like us, setting a comprehensive target to become net positive are much, much greater. So an important part of this project is demonstrating what can be done and encouraging other businesses, particularly those in the real estate sector, to embark on a similar journey.